hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl your big six your baby mama the president daughter <laughs> so the, today's topic is gonna be common mistake that you make your maybe first to two or three relationship because you're gonna have the first two relationship the second relationship the third relationship in fact some people have also ten relationships and before they find the real guy the real nigga you know that kind of a thing so <laughs> Yes, that is just the truth. No much to don't think that ah, this is my first relationship will end up getting married. Not lie. Not lie. <laughs> Although some are like that, but there are so few. So few. So few of them. Okay? Maybe they are just best friends from then start falling in love, from then get married. And hey, I will understand about maybe a relationship you just start with a guy and end up getting married. Ah, ah, you know, tired. How can you start a relationship when I'm still a teenager? But now I'm a big girl. I will still marry that kind of thing. Respect no good thing now. Respect no good. So, so come on, mistake that you make in your first relationship, you will not be romantic and the guy will be so complaining you will complain so so much that you are not romantic maybe, although you are, it's not your fault, you, are, you can't kill yourself you are not romantic, oh yes yes, I experienced that even my sister experienced that, my friends they experienced that, they complain about that that the guy said that I am not romantic it's not your fault, after truth it's not your fault, so maybe he will break up with you because the kind of things that you were expecting from you, it's not getting it from you E.G. It's not because you are not romantic, it's because you are not ready to give him the sex. That is why you break up with you. Of the truth, that is what they are looking for. So, it just puts it that way that you are not romantic. So, you will be killing yourself. Why am I not romantic? Who do this to me? No, it's a lie. You are romantic, you are perfect in every way. You are perfect in your level of living, you are perfect. Don't, so, don't allow anybody to intimidate you because of that and just have taking it ash on yourself that oh god I want to be romantic oh god I want to be sweet oh god you'll be too romantic oh. if you take it too personal you'll be too romantic and if you are too romantic it's another problem so that leads us to another point another point when you are too romantic like when you are over caring you know that kind of word over caring you care about the person but no over caring over secure about the person you will still have a problem you see now from that problem now to another one you land to another problem again. So because your next relationship you wants to be too caring, you want to be very securing, you want to know everything about him because the other person told you you are not romantic. So this one you want to start being romantic. And you will get you'll be bored, like, oh my god, am I sick? Who, am, who what did I get myself into? You know that kind of thing. You you, you will be bored, you will be bored. Yes, that's just it. So don't take it too far. Don't put it to your head, put it to your shoulder, you tire, you drop her. You know that kind of thing. So don't be that too caring, too lovely. Early morning you are caught. Hello, how was the night? Do you remember me? Hello, what have you eaten? Hello, have you taken a shower? Hello, are you sitting down? Don't do that. Stop. If you are doing it, just stop, 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 stop. Ah, uh -uh. what's nice? It's not your hobby. It's not your husband. Let me just make it clear. It's not your husband that you be calling. Maybe I'll be eating, maybe I'll be sleep, maybe I'll be brush, maybe I'll be... Don't, see, just stop it. Because it'll be tired of you. Just imagine every day you made that same call. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You are making that same call. It's, a, it's so bad, so bad. It's extremely bad, so just stop it. You'll be tired now. So, please, when you say that you are not romantic at all, you, you will be romantic in, in a class way like in a class you know that kind of classy way maybe sometimes you just go and buy fast food you can buy for him surprise him you know that kind of thing that is romantic maybe you go for shopping you can just not every time once once just saw maybe a nice t-shirt that he may love he may even be the one to give you the money for yourself but just get one for him that is be romantic in a classic way understand in a classic way okay that is why i say big guess big guess roll and so that is how you roll big <laughs> seriously thank me later so maybe that one will say have problem seeing your face maybe you don't know how to do makeup but then you don't know how to wear expensive clothes maybe you don't have you know that kind of you don't have what it takes what is still looking for is sex of a truth you open you are doing everything He's still looking for that word sex <laughs> and you cannot give it to him he will still bring another problem do you know what he will bring <laughs> do you know what he bring he will say i don't want to marry a sister i don't want to maybe we try any means to just okay 
it will not it will start shitting on you maybe if the guy really loves you it will start shitting on you and when you find out that it's shitting on you leads to another problem break up yes <laughs> so two relationship gone strike strike two gone so the third one now because I won't have shitted on you this one now you are over secure everything who is calling you who is calling you who is that gay? Is she your friend? Uh uh. How can you stay with gay? How can you be making friends with female? You see, <laughs> because that, that last one I broke your heart now. So this new one, everything is wrong about making female friends cancel. You don't want this again. You know that kind of thing. Maybe the guy who really loves you, may really care for you. Maybe it's not even shitting on you because you have that mentality already that no, this one I've started shitting on me because I was do this, I was I must do that, I must do this. You know that kind of thing because I didn't give it sense or said shit on me. This one that you are over secure. That you know that kind of thing. You are not making sense with him. You are not making love with him. And you'll be thinking, oh, because I'm not making love with him. That is why you shit on me. Fourth mistake. Biggest mistake. Biggest mistake because you think number one gone, number two gone. This number three. I don't want to leave her because of sex. I'll give him. See, biggest mistake. Another mistake. The other mistake now. You are no longer a virgin. You started making love now. You started making sex. You started having sex. The guy in love without of you. And do you know why? You're not good now. You don't know no back. You don't know no front. You don't know no side. You don't know. No... So he's not ready to teach you everything. He will say, This guy, this guy, this one a local champion. This one a local champion. So he will break up with you. <laughs> that one and die. You want to die. My first boyfriend. <laughs> My first boyfriend. I break up with me. I want to die now. You want to die, you want to do anything at all to secure that relationship. Lead on the next mistake. And the mistake is now everything is on your head. You, you, you want to do everything. The guy you don't want to do anything again at all. You don't want to do anything to secure the relationship. It's you. Now you want to do everything that it takes to secure that relationship. Even though for you to wash his clothes like three times, you are ready to do it. Even though to be that nice guy, because he's the one that is virgin you. That is the word. He's the one that is virgin you. You don't, you don't want, you don't want to sleep with this one. You don't want to sleep with that one. You don't want to sleep with this one. You see, Anna, you have learned, you have fallen into pit, a big pit for that matter. You don't fall, enter. Who will, who will rescue you now? Who will rescue you? Because you can't come and tell your big sister, oh, sis, I, I'm not a guy virgin, and the guy is misbehaving. And you know, you want to see. Him. You want to see the whole your pride now, you know that kind of thing. You still want to hide things, you still want to hide things from your senior sis, and you don't know that your senior sis get you cover. That is the essence of senior sis, they get you cover. They are ready to tell you what to do, they are ready to teach you the way. If you can have that boldness, talk to your senior sis about it, it will show you the way. Do you know the way it will show you? It will ask you to ask, see, just quit. The load is too much on your head, just drop it. You know that kind of thing, when the load is too much on your head, you want to get mad, just drop the load, drop it, drop everything, everything, the stress, just drop it, just drop it. I know it's easy to say that done, like, it's easy to say that done, like, I'm just telling you to drop the load now, it's easy to say drop the load, but for you to overcome, for you to overcome it is the most difficult thing so ever, for you to overcome that pain. Is the most difficult thing so ever, but you know how you overcome the pain? Focus on other things. Yes, relationship is not favor. You put it that way that relationship is not is not among your list now. So cancel it out of your list. Cancel it out of your list of living that I don't want relationship again. Cancel it out of your list. Understand? Then start packaging your life. Start seeing to start loving yourself. Love the way you look, love the way you talk, love the way you dress. Compliment yourself that I'm beautiful, I'm classy, I'm a billionaire. You know that kind of things. Love yourself. And if you, I know when you're doing all this, you are not putting God involved in your life. That is just the truth of the matter. No, you are not putting God involved. Maybe you have been praying to God about it and you're not really involved in in, in all your relationship. Prefer talking to someone. Instead of that, eh, when you know God, that there is someone that God will give to you. Do you know the person that God will give to you? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit might be your best friend though. Holy Spirit is your real nigga. Holy Spirit is there for you 247. You know that kind of thing. He's there for you 247. Talk to him. 
yes, in everything you want to do, eh, just start talking to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, this guy is talking to me. How far you look at? Simple. You know that kind of thing. How would you talk to the Holy Spirit? Just pray. Simple prayer, simple prayer. God, I thank you for my life. I thank you for this privilege. I thank you for so person that is approaching me right now. I thank you because you know everything that I've gone through. Of a truth, that God is your best friend. So times I ask myself, God, upon all the mistakes that I've made, you still love me. You still care for me. What, how? How come? I break your heart. I do it wrong. I did everything wrong in my youth age, but you still love me. Do you know what God said? He said, a little baby, you know, a mama when they carry for hand there, a little baby, when he start crawling, he will de- he, all his clothes will be stained. All his clothes will be stained. Sometimes he will even put in his body. But what will you do as a mother? You will still carry him. You will still clean him. You will still bait him. You will still make it look good. That is how we are to God. That is just it. That is how we are to God. When, when you have not, when you are not mature, then God is waiting for that time for you to mature. You know that kind of thing. Not everybody that will just start getting mature right from time. Like my, I have a sister. Ah, that girl, she's just a darling. Like she has built that world already. Any man that you marry, eh, that that man will just come and enjoy. Because that lady, she has built that world already. She know God right from time. But me, eh, I still want to flex. There is that just the truth. I still want to flex. You know that kind of thing. So when you get matured, when when you start knowing God in that way, when you start talking. God, talking to God in, in a different way start making him your best friend start making him your partner you will see that you start having conscience whenever you want to do something that is not right Holy Spirit will tell you it will tell you through your heart there is a way that something will be so strong in your heart you will say oh God why am I having this heavy feelings why am I having this strong feelings that this word I want to do it's the Holy Spirit that is talking to you sometimes you will just slide down it will be like a dream to you you know that kind of thing. It will be like a dream to you. So I'm just telling you this now. So for you to just instead of senior sis, senior sis, best friend, best friend, best friend, they will advise you wrong. Instead of that, cut it short. Start talking to God. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. In, 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 talk to Him in everything. Everything that you want to do, self. I'm not saying my English bad way, well. <laughs> but just talk to Him. Talk to Him in every. Talk. Just tell Him your heart. Speak to Him as if He's your best friend. Before you see Him. Eh, my dear, your life will start getting beautiful. Me, I used to be very ugly. You know, ugly. Eh? Ha! If you see me, you don't even want to gist me. Say, but look at me now. I try. Look at me now. Uh-uh. I still try small. You know that kind of thing. How, how did I become beautiful? Because I know God. Sometimes when I want to do my makeup, I ask the Holy Spirit, God, I want this makeup to come out right. Is it right? Is it right? Is it right? I want to just come out right. Thank God I didn't start doing makeup before I get my because my husband eh, could have even loved me more. Oh, for call. I fuck up. I could have even learned how to do makeup before I get married. <laughs> so, guys, so thank you very, very much for watching. I love you guys. I hope I've solved some of your problem. I hope I've, even though you are married, you can still learn from all these things. And there are so many videos I've made about married. And okay, I've not really talked about married people and what to do because I'm still new inside. I'm still learning. I'm still learning with the things that work for me. So I'm not sure yet. I can't advise you on the things that I've I've not really experienced. Understand? So I'm just talking from experience. I'm talking from the things that I faced and things that helped me. Those are the things I'm sharing in this video. Thank you very, very much. Love you guys. Bye.